In this video, I'm going to take folks through how to add some trees into your Unity terrain area. Now what you're going to need first is you are going to need some sort of 3D model that is going to act as your tree. For this demonstration, I went out to the Unity store and I found a free set of trees from Darth Artisan. And as you can just see, if I click through to the prefabs, I've got four little trees here. Now coming back and working with the terrain, you do have a specific option over in the inspector where you can paint trees. This concept is actually very similar to terrain layers, where if I come in and click the paint trees, I don't actually have any tree elements defined in here. So what I can do is I can edit trees and I can choose to add a tree. Now, right now I have no tree prefab assigned at all here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my option button at the end here, and it's going to go through my assets. And since the only assets I have are trees, it'll let me go ahead and select one of the trees here. You also get a little preview of the tree down at the bottom. So for this one, I'll go ahead with a fir tree. I'll double click. And before you close anything out here, at the very, very bottom of add tree, you're going to want to choose add. Now Unity might think a second here and you might not see the image right away, but once you do, I can now, using my brush, I can come in and maybe change the brush size a little bit. I'm also gonna take down the tree density. The higher the tree density, yes, you can have a small forest. So I'm gonna go ahead here, there we go. I'm just gonna click a few times and you can see now I'm getting this nice randomization going across as far as adding in my trees. Now, you can also hold your shift key and you can actually erase out the trees that you made. I'll add some back in here. And also too, if you had multiple tree types here, you could actually select and use control to choose the specific tree type. Now, one thing that I would like to show you is if you notice, whenever I click way far out here and click, you might think you're not actually doing anything. But this is as far as your level of detail for each of your trees. And if you notice, I begin to kind of fly through the scene here. I've been actually adding trees this entire time. This is a great addition as far as helping you be able to control as far as the rendering of your overall scene. So you'll just want to be careful of that as far as whenever you're working with each of the individual elements when you're adding trees. You'll just have to be careful where you click. However, using shift, you can erase trees as needed, and then you can start to build out your scene.